Who exactly is the he in the $100 million ad campaign? He gets us. Here are 10 reasons why I am giving the Spock eye to this purported evangelistic ad campaign to reclaim the real Jesus, which is what their website says. And you're going to fire back, hey, we're supposed to be happy when someone promotes Jesus. I, I agree totally. But as those verses make clear, we only rejoice when the true Jesus is being proclaimed. He warned us quite sternly, if someone doesn't know the right Jesus, then they don't know his father either. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the father except by me. Now that you have known me, you will know my father also. And from now on, you do know him and you have seen him. So let's see if we can identify some of the issues in the He Gets Us campaign that might keep us from rejoicing. Number one, the campaign focuses on the humanity of Jesus exclusively. That's what the creators say. Their partner website reads, by design, our media messages focus on his humanity since we've learned these resonate with the widest possible audience. Cool, Jesus has been test marketed. Maybe we need to follow Jesus' lead and present him not as a mere mortal, but as fully God and fully man. The four gospels show us Jesus, who he is up front without apology. He gets us, doesn't follow the lead of Jesus, but that leads us to concern number two, the Jesus in the he gets us ads and videos. Sorry, can only be defined as a social justice Jesus. Consider these ads. He was a refugee. He was a rebel. He was an influencer and a feminist. It appears the Jesus who gets us wants open borders, radical feminism, a so-called oppression to be eradicated, and social justice politics. Sorry, but if it walks and talks like a social justice campaign, then... <laughs> Which leads us to number three. You can search high and low and you will not find anything that resembles a complete gospel presentation in their ads or website. Search for the word gospel. Here's what pops up. Jesus chose forgiveness. Okay, that's kind of sort of maybe a little warm, but the article in the video, don't use the word gospel or explain forgiveness available to us in Christ. Instead, it talked about how Jesus forgave people and you and I should do likewise because it's good for us. This also popped up for the word gospel. He gets us, has an agenda. And what exactly is that agenda? It's a rebranding exercise. They want to show that Jesus has been hijacked by conservatives <laughs> and caused nothing but division. They want you to know that Jesus is loving, which is nice, but it's not the gospel. Finally, this popped up when we searched for gospel. Four ways Jesus supported women's equality. That's the... <laughs> Jesus did support women's equality, but probably not the way that radical feminist social justice warriors might hope. Really, how can a ministry outreach proclaiming Jesus never mention the atoning work of Jesus Christ, his death and his resurrection? And you might say, well, that's because they're just trying to get people interested in Jesus. I say, okay. But that forces us again to ask, what Jesus are we talking about here? Which brings us to concern number four. The president of the He Gets Us marketing firm clarifies the Jesus and the goals of this ad campaign. Quote, ultimately, the goal is inspiration, not recruitment or conversion. Pretty clear. Elsewhere, the website states their goal is to reintroduce people to the Jesus of the Bible. Wonder what they're criticizing with that. And his confounding love and forgiveness. He gets us, wants to show off Jesus' confounding love. But his love really is only mind-blowing when we understand <laughs> Jesus is actually God who died for sinners. But wait, it actually gets worse, if that were possible. Concern number five visit the search engine on their website. You won't find anything on repentance, justification, 
hell, denying yourself, evangelism. How can a website about Jesus miss so many crucial elements that must be known in order for people to be saved? Well, there actually is an explanation, which is concern number six. This is a classic seeker-sensitive, a bait-and-switch that might bear some good fruit. Hope so. But it's certain to create bushels full of bad fruit. This methodology says, hey, show how cool, relatable Jesus is. Get him hooked. And then, well, later we'll introduce people to his hard sayings. And that almost always inevitably leads to an angry response. Hey, what do you mean if I don't trust Jesus? I'm going to hell. You tricked me. This is the bad place. Second Peter warns us that those who are deceived into joining the church backslide because they never slid forward and their latter end is worse than the first. Which brings me to concern number seven, the folks behind He Gets Us. They want to, quote, make Jesus the biggest brand in your city. Um, sorry, but with all due respect, Jesus is not a product we try to package attractively to get people to buy him. This campaign, I'm sorry, it just has a horribly low view of God. He isn't for sale. He's, he's not a used car on a lot that we test drive, and if we like him, we'll buy him. We don't have to rebrand him to get people interested. We need to proclaim his divinity and his humanity. Concern number eight, the goal of this campaign is to hook people on their rebranded Jesus, drive them to the website in hopes that they will reach out and then the He Gets Us folks will direct people to a church. Now, I, I love the local church angle. I applaud that aspect. Let's get people into local churches. But what kind of churches are they sending people to? Well, we actually know the president of the marketing firm said, we hope that all churches that are aligned with the He Gets Us campaign will participate. This includes multiple denominational and non-denominational church affiliations. Yikes, Catholic and Protestant. If Catholic churches are included and what we've heard, legalistic and super liberal churches are also a part of the He Gets Us campaign, it would seem um, they don't have biblical criteria behind the churches that He Gets Us recommends. That ain't good. Concern. Number nine, who are these people? Who are the folks behind this $100 million ad campaign? Please note, I appreciate the desire of financially blessed Christians who want to remain anonymous. I get that. But we do know that Christianity Today, Hobby Lobby, and the National Association of Evangelicals are involved somehow not exactly bastions of evangelical fidelity. And finally, number 10, I think he gets us. It just misreads the room. Seriously, they are spot on recognizing people are hurting and they need help. That's obvious, but the Jesus they offer just isn't the Jesus that people need. They don't need a buddy. They don't need somebody who gets them. People need the real biblical Jesus who died for their sins and saves them from the wrath that is to come. Siri, I, I don't think most folks even want a cool, relatable social justice Jesus. I think people are far more interested in a Jesus who, yes, is fully human, but is also fully divine and definitely tells you that his way is the best and only way. People are looking for answers and solutions, and a solid rock, freedom from anxiety and guilt and stress and loneliness and broken marriages and wayward children. If he gets us, doesn't want to present the full real truth that is the Jesus of Scripture, then these folks can't truly be set free. If and you happen to be interested in Jesus, I've got to tell you, there is a bottomless ocean uh, that you can dive into that is filled with glorious truths about the real biblical Jesus. Might I humbly commend to you a book written by a Todd 
free Elias or something, Jesus unmasked. It's an amazing study. Jesus in the Old Testament, assuming, of course, you haven't hitched yours, that reveals Jesus did indeed drop the God card. Jesus never played the God card. Last note, if the He Gets Us campaign were preaching and teaching truth, even though they may not be my particular cup of tea, I would seriously rejoice. But the Jesus they proclaim, it just isn't the Jesus of the Bible. And for those reasons, I'm out. I'm out. So I'm out. I'm out. And so am I. Discuss! There are thousands of our brothers and sisters in the Philippines in Bible teaching churches that are praying for their own Bible. Would you please bring joy to someone who cannot afford a Bible by sending not just any Bible, but a MacArthur Study Bible with the Master's Academy International? Imagine the impact and the joy it will bring. Please send as many Bibles as you can. Wretched.org slash Bible, wretched.org slash Bible. I was in such a dark place, but with the biblical counseling, with the help of the Bible and the help of the Lord, I'm able to maneuver and navigate through life a lot better. 